and welcome to your market update for today the 17th of june happy friday everybody it's mike smith senior analyst at go markets we hope you're well today across the news wires of course we saw yet another sell-off in u.s equities after markets changed their focus from positivity yesterday after the fed interest rate decision to focus on the economic slowdown and the potential impact of a looming recession the data was contributory yesterday. We had weaker than expected US jobs. Philly Fed manufacturing index wasn't as expected and the housing data was also down on expectations. This pushed the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq further into bear market territory and the Dow are now only 1% away from that level. In terms of context, it is the worst week since March 2020, so the start of the pandemic, just to put it all in perspective. U.S. futures are mildly higher in Asian trading. One would imagine that's a little bit of short cover, and it is Friday. We may see more of that as the day progresses towards the back end of some of the sessions. Investors will be mixed between just taking some more risk off the table and, for those who are short, taking some profit. So it'll be really difficult to call as to where we might end up at the end of the session. Asian indices, not surprisingly, all down on that week. Wall Street lead, the ASX, is down around about 2.5 percent as we record this it's just trading towards the lows of the session right now and of course european futures are pointing to a week open also to follow through on what happened last night interestingly usually we get this inverse relationship between the usd and us equities but we saw the us dollar drop yesterday though we are noting that it is slightly higher this morning it's the outperforming currency on that usd weakness we've seen gold move back to 1850 remember we're in a range between 1835 and 1875 for some time moved back into that range yesterday and we're now mid-range oil was also looking relatively weak for most of yesterday it did test and reject a move below 120 on the brent cfd contract and the vix has not surprisingly moved higher again to around about 33 remember mid 34s was its peak this week Bitcoin again just looks miserable. It's only just holding on to 20,000 by the fingernails after its recent route throughout the week. And it's very difficult to see any positivity about cryptos at this stage. Quiet day today after a busy week and possibly that will enable markets to take a little bit of a breath. As I said, we're not sure what the Friday reposition will look like. Could go either way. But the Bank of Japan interest rate and press conference could be interesting in light of recent yen weakness, it be interesting to see whether they reference anything to do with that. Uh, there is a speech by Jerome Powell, but it's at a conference and unlikely to have a significant market impact, one would suggest. A couple of charts worth having a look at today. We're going to stay away from stocks, but we are looking at currency pairs and the indices. We'll start with the GB pound USD. We had that bounce yesterday. It's a pipe formation here, continuation of that. Smash back up to that 123.25 resistance level and beyond on the back of the Bank of England raising rates. Although this was expected to be fair. With that slight USD strength today, we did see a little pullback this morning, which is sort of interesting, back to this level at 123.24. But we have our eyes set on possible movement of 123.75. If we do get a move back up to here and a bounce of any significance and potentially test that level later in the day, then it does look interesting, possibly up around about 80 pips. Also, we are keen to just check in on the JPY pairs in a little while after that Bank of Japan statement is done really worth looking at cryptos we touched base with them early in the week when they were around about this 24 level we've continued to sell off meaning that since last friday's close we're down 30 percent. you can see how hard it's testing this support at 20,000, almost on the button and of course this represents lows not seen since the back end of 2020 I move through here and there's very little stopping it possibly going down to around about 17 in the first instance but at this stage it's still phenomenally bearish trade safe and we'll see you again soon
Bye-bye for now.